God, saints, and welcome to Scott's Chapel Online Ministries, Pastor Fred, and we are ready to worship the Lord, praise God, from whom all blessings flow. Minister do it. that's getting ready to come forth. We honor you and we thank you for who you are. We bless your name, God. We say right now, meet us where we are, God. Let it be heaven in our homes, God. Let our hearts be ready. Let our spirits be full for what you're getting ready to do, God. Let our eyes be open. Let our ears be open. Let our heart be ready to receive the powerful word that shall flow out of the man of God, out of the angel of the house, God. We honor you. We thank you. We bless your name, God. As we begin to seek your face as we begin to seek your presence we say God come down come into us right now come to us right now God for you said that if we seek
want to take our attention to the book of Luke, chapter 13. And I want to look at verse 10 through 13. On a Sabbath, Jesus was teaching in one of the synagogues. And a woman was there who had been crippled by spirit for 18 years. She was bent over and could not straighten it up at all. All right. Woman, you are set free from your infirmity. All right. Then he put his hands on her and immediately she straightened up and praised God. That is Luke chapter 13 verses 13 through 13 from the NIV. I like what the King James says, Woman, thou art loose yeah. from thine infirmity. Our subject for this morning is breaking the chains in your life. Breaking the chains in your life. I've been preaching a mighty long time, but I'm going to continue to preach and say what God's word tells us and what God has told me to say. Uh, the situations in our lives and in our society with COVID, the hurricanes, the earthquakes, yeah. the wars and rumors of wars, the Afghan people, mm -hmm. the nation, the list goes on and on. Mm -hmm. Some of us with personal issues. Well, the American Heritage Dictionary gives us a meaning, a combination of circumstances at a given moment, a state of affairs, a critical or problematic or striking set of circumstances. I don't know about you, but that sounds like my life. That, that sounds like last week. That, that sounds like each and every day that we face a set of circumstances and situations. But I got news for you. Going to church and being a Christian doesn't mean that we keep our heads bowed down. That we're bent over and we can't stand up. We have the victory through Jesus Christ. Right. To show enough make it. Each of us has some kind of situation that binds us. Oh, it could be physical. It could be habitual, spiritual, mental. The question is, what, what chains in your life need to be broken? Need to be loosed? Need to be destroyed, sought, dissolved, melt, put off, cast asunder? Loosing in is a word that can literally be used to cut away all that is a stronghold. Yes. Mm. Uh, we, not, we need not only to bind and loose the devil, we need to bind ourselves to the word of God, to the will of God, to loose ourselves from that which has no foundation and no purpose in our lives. Some of us need to loose some people. Some of us need to let some stuff go. Mm -hmm. It's binding us to depression. Mm -hmm. I know I'm preaching. preaching? Yes. Now, 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 this striking miracle falls into a category of one that Jesus performed on a Sabbath. Mm -hmm. uh, there are seven Sabbath miracles and they were special miracles in and of themselves. Each one represented something beyond just a healing. Jesus 
demon possessed. Another was Peter's mother-in-law. Another was a man with a withered hand. Uh, the woman who was bowed down. Uh, a man with dropsy. Uh, a, a crippled man at the pool of Bethesda. And a man that was born blind. All of these miracles prove the authority that God can break the chain. Yes. But he has authority over the spirit world and the physical world. Oh, yes. Not only were they physical. For 18 years she has suffered. Burden in a situation that has brought for years to the point to where it bends you over Come on, Pastor. and eventually it breaks the backs of your peace mm. can steal your joy yes. and will mess up your mind 18 years of go by fast when the sun is shining 18 years is a short time when it's involving blessings when you are advancing in life and enjoying the milk and honey of the promised land but 18 years is a very long time when you are consumed to the point to where you're bent over to where you gotta struggle to live and eat 18 years is a long time when your body and mind has been vexed by an evil spirit where it's a struggle to just get up. Yes. Mm. And we try to cover up with words when we're fighting an infected, wounded spirit. So the picture of this woman is terrible. She is in agony. She's crippled, bent up, and from the waist up, and, and suffering into depression and become cynical and angry. Get rid of the spirit of infirmity. Yes. 